Jupiter Media presents Hello and Namaste. Welcome to This Nation India Television Show. We are continuously telecasting the press episode about studying India opportunities and international students experience. Last April, we were there in Pune to explore about the international students facility opportunities and their experience. And today I am with you with the Symbiosis Skill and Professional University Pune, Maharashtra, and we have very special guest from the university side who is known other than Mr. Raghavan. Uh, he is the director and associate professor of School of Courts and the Tunnel and Management and Logistic Layers. So welcome him to the show. Mr. Raghavan, you are welcome in our show. Thank you. Namaste. Delighted to be part of your show. It's because of media persons like you that the world gets to know about the different aspects of education and the revolutions that are happening in the world place. Okay, we are quite happy to have you in this platform so that we can explore more opportunity inside the skill. So talking about the Symbiosis skill and professional university, would you please tell us something about it? Yes, absolutely. So for instance, you see even in Nepal, which is a landlocked country, what is the ultimate resource that Nepal has? It has young people, it has an education and school system. And your Prime Minister, Shri Pushpa, has been working very closely with the Indian government and launching many high-skill high projects. For instance, in the Rahudeni district, you have launched certain projects in modernizing the schools. But in spite of all this, if you take a look at the world, there is a skill gap. It is that the people we are churning out from the schools people we are churning out from the colleges, they are not able to meet what the industry wants, right? You can teach a student in, in a school in terms of theory, right? But if you are creating an automobile engineer who doesn't know how to repair a car, if you create an electrical engineer who doesn't know how to repair the switches and plugs in home, what use is of churning out degrees? So, first of all, since you asked about symbiosis, uh, of course, all the people in India and m across the world know the, know the symbiosis group. So Dr. S.B. Majumdar has won two of the four highest civilian awards in, the, in India. So Padma Bhushan and the Padma Bhushan. So uh, his daughter, Swati Majumdar, she has taken pains to... St already they have convinced symbiosis as conventional universities. But his, but his daughter, Swati Majumdar, traveled to Germany and look that, why is it that when we talk about automotive, automotive engineers, you think about Germany, right? You think about Korea, you think about China. So she felt that something was wrong with the Indian education and in fact the global education system. So she came up with the thought of a skills university. For a, min for a minute, think about it. When you first wanted to drive a bicycle or drive a car, did you go to a classroom? Did, did someone tell you, this is how you have to press the pedal, this is how you have to do it? No. You went on to the road, drove the bicycle and fell down. That precisely is the unique model of skills that has been developed by Dr. Swati Majumdar of the Symbiosis Skills University. So her whole concept is 70% of the learning should be by experience. Only 30% of it should be through theoretical learning. So think about it. When a child, he's happy, he's playing around, you know, there is a joy in his face. But then you send the children to school, they are not happy because you, you are boring them with just a monologue. So that is the whole concept, 70% learning by doing. Talking about your Nepal here, uh, educating about the skills and the opportunities to principles. So uh, how do you feel that this type of uh, exchange program can help to know about the opportunities here in local market in Nepal? Absolutely. As you can see, I mean, India and Nepal have common religion, common philosophies. There have been cultural ties. In fact, the first Bollywood movie, uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Ram was shot in Nepal and there have been numerous Bollywood movies. That same level of cultural ties needs to translate into education. 
I was recently reading a report by FNCCI and the Nepal Chamber of Commerce where they have spoken about how Nepal is feeling a shortage of workers in construction and infrastructure, how there is a shortage of people in the agri supply chain industry, right? So these are all skills that Nepal will, can benefit and an organization like Symbiosis Skills and Professional University, which has a campus in Pune, which is about you know, a couple of hours from the financial capital of India, Mumbai. Uh, and we also have a 25 acre campus in Indore. So we have two universities. One, and we offer a plethora of programs, both in management, engineering, architecture, beauty, wellness, nutrition. So for instance, what the Asian Development Bank and the FNCCI identified for Nepal, we have a construction and infrastructure department. We have a supply chain management department. We have been working with different organizations, food processing industries and things like that. So these are skills which we can definitely partner with Nepal and help all the schools and their students uh, imbibe the same. And of course, as you know, we have been doing it for schools in India now for decades. And, you know, recently the Indian government has launched the national education policy in which the students of Indian schools are also being given vocational training. So that is something we can definitely offer to the uh, Nepali uh, education community and the academic community. We can partner with them, understand their needs for a particular industry sector and then tailor the program to your local needs. Okay, so to eliminate the poverty, how it will be uh, uh, useful uh, with the university career outcomes to help uh, Nepalese economy to develop their uh, living standard? Thank you for asking that question. In fact, our founder of Symbiosis Skills University, in fact, believes in the logo of reaching the unreached. Right? So a lot of people in the education system, whether in India and in Nepal, we are similar in many ways. There are, yes, there are rich people, there are middle class people, and there are poor people who are not able to afford education. Someone who has studied till the 10th class and is not able to pursue education, should one, should one not provide them the opportunity? In fact, the model that our founder has developed is very unique. It has multiple entry and exit points. So if you have discontinued your studied after 10th, you can come to a Symbiosis Skills University. Depending upon the number of years we provide you the training, there is a certification and a degree path process. The whole idea is no one should, should you know, sort of not have the education that they desire for lack of money or for the lack of need of it. And this is where even the industry can uh, step up. For instance, you just heard, uh, uh, you know, even uh, uh, Shravan Kadvekar speak to you. So, in fact, he does a lot of different programs for the industry. So, even in the industry in Nepal can take advantage of upskilling, reskilling with symbiosis. Okay. Especially talking about the teaching pedagogy, like uh, uh, it's uh, quite practical and it's uh, quite easy to understand for the student. So, how we like uh, uh, university is supporting individuals to flourish their skill to competency. Absolutely. For instance, at Symbiosis, if you see, when a school uh, a child comes there for an admission or wanting to pursue a degree, we, unlike other universities, we don't just go directly talking to him and telling him about our programs. We try to identify the natural talent and skill that is there in that person. For instance, I might be someone who might not be very good at numbers, yeah, but I'm very good at creativity. I can draw an animation. So it is, that is why I genuinely believe that educators, whether in Nepal or in India, have a, have, you know, the potential to shape the future. So you identify the talent or the skill in that child and then polish it. So that is what we do. We take a skills inventory test. We ensure that we identify what is it that the student is good at, what is his passion, so that we can convert that passion into a profession. So then, basically, depending upon the person's interest and skill, we suggest to them 
what are the different career paths? So for instance, we spoke about someone good at being uh, an artist, right? He, he can draw well. So he should look at fields like animation. He should look at fields like digital media. If you are a very numbers oriented and you like, you leave the person in a home, he's very technology savvy uh, things. You could look at subjects like data science. Right. And if you are someone who's very detail oriented, very, you know, in a house, uh, you know, I have a cycle, you're able to split it part, put it back. Automatically engineering is a career. Right. So you've got to identify each job role requires a particular set of skills. And that is what the unique pedagogy of symbiosis skills and professional university. I, it, it basically has a lecture component. It has a tutorial component. It has a practical component and it has a skills component. And the practical and skills is the 70% and the lecture is only 30%. So by theory, if, if now even now, like say in an interview, if I keep on talking, you will get bored, right? So at some point of time, I need to st stop talking and demonstrate to you something that will appeal to you. When I engage with you, then you would be more, uh, you know, interested in the subject. So finally, what's your message to the prospective student and parents those who are trying to do something on the skill side? See, definitely if you're choosing a university, gone are the days when you had to choose only engineering or medicine. Now there are a plethora of subjects, right? Also, I always say you should not get by, weighed down by your current resources or by your current society, right? If you have a passion in some area, right, choose the university wisely. Why are we so passionate about the skills university and not the conventional university? Like in a conventional college you go, you'll have a BCom, you have, you'll have a BSc. But choose a skills university. Why? Because in a skills university, we are going, we have collaborations with industries. So for instance, uh, you know, we have a uh, course called Retail and E-Commerce. So as Shravan was mentioning, we have learning factories and learning centers of excellence. So with the leading brand in India, Shopper Stop, we have, we have created a literally a retail store within our campus where the students of BBA retail go and hone their skill. Similarly, for automotive engineering, we are the only university probably in India that has imported machinery from Newell Lucas and in that, a student is given an actual simulated car environment, is given a feeling of how the airbag through PLC programming can be activated. So he learns every step of the way by doing the thing. And so similarly, what we are very proud of is that if you see our university, you know, every year at Symbiosis Skills University in Pune and Indore, there are visitors coming in from Australia, from America. Uh, so right now in Ports Terminal Management and Logistics, basically we are working with the St. John St. Benedict University in Minnesota, USA, and their students are working with our students in Pune on the skills and practicals that we have designed because they see value in it. And, and if you notice, I did my MBA from uh, Emory University in Atlanta in United States, but even in American education system, it is all theory. They have a two-year MBA program and only a two-month internship. What can you learn in two months? So at Symbiosis Skills University, for a three-year program, we have three internships. So one after the first year for two months, the second internship after the second year for two months, and after the third year, we have an internship of four to six months. So basically, by the time a person completes the degree from us, he already has about an year of work experience, other than the fact that all his education for the three years, 70% of it is in the lab and equipment in which not only our students get trained, people from Volkswagen come to our uh, mechatronics laboratory and they learn there. People from Fiat come to our laboratory and learn there. So, whatever we are giving to the student is something that actually the industry is actually using. And, and that is the uniqueness about the Symbiosis Skills and Professional University is the connect between the industry, the academia and the courses are developed to meet particular job roles in the industry. What is the point in me teaching a student if he cannot get a job? 
So, and at Symbiosis Skills and University, we place 100% of the students in the job. We place 100% of, it is mandatory to do the internship. And if your father has a business, we always say, don't do the internship there. We will get you an internship. There is no point in doing internship in your father's company because you will not learn. Okay. So, Raghavan, thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. Definitely, Symbiosis Skills University, skill, knowledge and competency will support to uh, like eliminate the poverty. So, thank you so much for your valuable time. Thank you. Namaste. Dhaniwad. I truly appreciate your taking the time to interview us.